Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Um, I'm going to be showcasing you my deck profile. Like, I don't know if I, I pretty much mentioned this before, but I don't think you guys recall, but I, met, I talked about how from now on I'll be doing my deck profiles online. Then rather than having to do it in person and showcase it to you uh, uh, like in real life because it's it's not as convenient as it is the amount of like moving recording and plus I don't have enough space on my phone so here from here on out it'll be a lot easier so that you guys can pretty much see all the cards without me having to explain everything but it's your choice but I'm still gonna explain the cards for those who are uh, curious uh, why I, I even decided to use these cards in my deck and and how how I feel about them uh, when using them so starting off we're playing three uh, Achichi uh, Adagnister that's obvious you have to play uh, you have to max on cards and uh, easy extender it helps you uh, get into all your uh, Adagnister monsters with no cost and this is the card you most likely want to start off on your opening hand. Three Ash because it helps you go into certain uh, certain uh, synchro monster. It's a hand trap and, and it comes in clutch, pre uh, like preventing your opponent from adding cards or taking cards from their deck and placing them on the field or graveyard. Baru for same reason for when we go to a certain synchro monster. Dan Mari adding this to you only play one copy. I the, the 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 card is only nifty when in the grave, but what if basically what happens if it if one of your adding this monsters are targeted, or when attack is declared with the adding this uh, monster, you can special summon from your hand. Although consider how slow it is, like you just simply need it just in case as a one of. Another one of we're playing is. Dosha and Atiknister to help you get into a certain card that I'll be explaining when we once we get further. Doyon Atiknister, another one of to just simply retrieve one of your Atiknister monsters from the grave. Uh, we're playing Gachiri because it's easy. It's an easy card to pretty much special summon from your hand and protects your monsters from at your cyber monsters from card effects. Hiari, although really doesn't do anything with its uh, other uh, second effect, you pretty much need it to in order to spell some and it's easy search. Lady Debugs, so obviously you were maxing out. For more consistency, parallel exceed rather than two rather than three playing two, because you want ways to get into your uh, exceed monsters as well as synchro plays on top of link summoning. Pick Ari adding Mister to help you search your any of your adding to spell cards that have AI in its name and the sole purpose of helping you extend even further. Eye contact, although this card you just play as a one of considering I talked about consistency before, but like it's very bricky if you don't draw into certain cards. Because if you have no if the thing is like you always want to make sure you have one because once you activate it, this uh, ensures that you'd see completely different cards when you draw three cards by placing the one added Mr. Island from your hand to shuffling to the deck, as long as one exists on your field. I love fusion to help you get around certain monsters, plus getting you an extra fusion, so giving you an extra summoner by fusion summoning, because you use, it, does, it also says that you can use one of your opponent's monsters as well, as long as it's a link monster. Three I meet you, simply, which is, you basically is, a, it's a, which is another consistent card. Although you have to reveal one mon cyber monster twenty three hundred attack in your hand extra deck, and you add one monster add a monster monster with the same attribute. Although it doesn't really matter whether they see the monster or not, because although it's like, because they already know what deck you're playing regardless, even if you are revealing the card. So like like it like it would matter either way because either, the whole point is that it gets you to your cards certain cards a lot quicker. As well as Idol Reborn, lets you special summon an adding Mr. Monster from your grave. The reason why I play three because it lets you retrieve a spell. Uh, it lets you retrieve one of your adding Mr. Spell and Trap cards from your grave to from your grave or banish them to your as if an attack is involved, like with two monsters. So which becomes very useful. So even though you have to banish one card, at least it helps you get into a certain card that might help you later on. 
sign and mine it for the sign it mining for the same reason you max out and although you have to send one card but you get to add one level four lower cypress monster from your deck to your hand uh fi fighting spirit so you get to target one adding this to monster and graves same similar to idol reborn but the thing is though if it were to be destroyed by a card effect you could banish it from giver instead and then if this card is banished, it has a really crazy effect is that adding this to monster with 2300 more attack cannot be destroyed by battle. So this helps you protect even your best monsters. For a burn droplet, which is a card that I feel like is mandatory in this deck. Helps you get around uh, annoying cards, annoying monsters that pretty much stop you from playing. And you have a chance to retaliate and possibly win on that in, on that turn. Ignister Island, which is the, the key, the main core piece of the deck because it allows you to constantly special summon add Ignister monsters that are level 4 or lower from your hand to the field like constantly as, as long as they have a different attribute <coughs> and the the the, uh, the the downside is you uh, you're only allowed to special summon cybers monsters the turn you activate it which is really worth it because because that the whole person is if you build your deck around revolving around cybers monsters then it's it's pretty much free. The, the small monsters they summon is pretty is free for like all day. And then monster reborn uh, for you know, I need to explain here. Uh, tie strike lets you get around certain monsters, and it's pretty much like gain become that monster's attack. Well, my mistake, your mon. It becomes its mon its attack becomes that monster's attack, so it doesn't gain that attack. I apologize. But either way, like. I think this only apply. This is only good if you're playing Attic Nisters, but if you have an Attic Nister monster, for sure this card can be very helpful, and that's, and it kind of serves its purpose when it when it does banish in the grave because you would, you you only you would rather you the whole reason behind this card you you want to use this when playing Attic Nister monsters when attacking again when attacking one of your opponent's monsters rather than a random monster, and then onto the extra Earth Golem Attic Nister. Which can be very useful because you can easily fusion summon it using one of your opponent's monsters if they have a link monster. And on top of that, they can, the whole purpose to get around certain annoying monsters. It can retrieve one of your cyber monsters from the grave on top of when it attacks a monster that was special from the extract. It gains that monster's original attack. So it would always come in very handy. You only need one, obviously. When Pegasus adding Nister, which is a synchro monster allowing you to pop your opponent's back row as well as... So targeting one card your opponent controls shuffling deck regardless of its type. Light Dragon adding Nister, allowing you to destroy face some monsters your, your opponent controls, similar to um, Wing Pegasus, but although they are opposites, but it's to ensure that you have ways of playing around your opponent and top of being able to use other effects. Access code because he is a game changer and he's he can help you potentially win duels easily. Cyber's Wicked Wicked Kid, Cyber's Wicked Kid to help you get your brew a lot more quicker. Dark Dark Infant adding Nister to allow you to search your Nister at Island for a lot uh, on the first turn. Dark Templar so you can summon even more monsters and go into your other adding Nisters or other link monsters. Fire Phoenix adding Nister because. It's also, uh, although some people are wondering why, I would re I would still recommend this card because when you have it, it is a target for I meet you, and although usually uh, its effect doesn't do much, it isn't is really, it's not the best compared to all the other adding nisters, but it's also important if you have Achichi and you're playing at 3 and then I meet you, so it's a very strong combination, and it's something that is mandatory in the extra deck for I meet you to, to resolve. Firewall, dra Dragon, Dark Fluid, and, um, the purpose of even summoning this card, because like I mentioned before, if you if you recognize, if you notice the the first previous cards uh, from my extra deck, I have a fusion, synchro, and XC. So that that he will be able to serve his purpose later on, and those those cards are meant to back him up when they're in the graveyard, and that he, it enables him for him to gain to negate more, negate bunch of monster effects, so he'll get th at least three three opportunities three chances to stop my opponent from using any busted monster effects and then opening him up for a possible game and being able to get around the your opponent's strongest monsters 
and he can do much on, much more later on. Lingaribo is another starter, so you can at least get rid of one of your Cypress monsters in the main monster zone, so that you have none to be able to utilize Ignister Island's effect. Mechanite Crusadia Avermax, because he's a really, he cannot be targeted by card effects. He can, your opponent can target monsters you control for attacks. On top of every battle, he he's always going to gain that special summon monster's attack until the end of the damage step, and how it keeps, and it's just permanent for sure. Splash Mage, Splash Mage, so you can um, extend your board even further and go to your other strongest link monsters. The arrival Cybers adding Nister because he can be unaffected by card effects, and he can pretty he can pretty much destroy one other monster free, allowing to special summon a uh, adding Nister token that's level one to where it points to, and for another extender Transco Talker because enables to retrieve our link threes or our lower, and to make use of the adding Nister monsters, and then so you could possibly gain more attack and then continue further with going to your higher link monsters and again hope you guys enjoy the deck profile eventually i'll see if i can do more in the upcoming future and hope you guys enjoy and take this as a learning experience be sure to check for upcoming content later in the future also be sure to check your notifications comment like subscribe thank you